So they're now setting piece number two. Piece number one, the front oven landing, has already been set with the floor tile in place. Using a pry bar, they're positioning it to get 1 16th to a half inch gap in between the joints. You don't want it tighter because of thermal expansion and contraction. Might crack the dome. You don't want it looser because that may impact thermal performance. A quarter inch is ideal. This is piece number three. Because of the interlocking joints, you don't have to prop this one with a two by four. It's just like a jigsaw puzzle. One person can lift these pieces, but we recommend doing a team lift because these pieces can weigh anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds. The reason why they're putting piece number six in place before piece number five is so that they can get a clean fit. Um, the interlocking joints on piece number five, uh, it's easier to do that piece last so that you can make adjustments on the rest of the oven and have your two by fours in place to support the individual pieces. Using the pry bar again, now that they have the individual pieces placed, they're ensuring their 16th to a half inch gap tolerance in between the individual pieces. What you see him doing now is adjusting the pieces to the left in order to get the fit so that piece number five slides into position. Now that the joints are interlocked, they can remove the two by fours and then the individual pieces will settle into place. Now they're placing the dome cap in position. Same tolerances hold for the dome cap. One sixteenth of an inch to a half inch gap.
they're going to be doing with the dome cap is once they get the, uh, the lower ledge, which is a, a smaller interior diameter than the top, they're going to mallet it into place as it forms down into the oven. And then they'll just work in a circle around the oven to make sure that the cap has a nice tight fit. The dome cap is cast separately from the oven, so in some cases um, the dome cap needs to be relieved to make sure that it fits nice and snug within the oven itself. This is done when we dry stack the oven during manufacturing. It's always safer to uh, grind the dome cap a little bit than the oven itself. to show you the dimensions real quick. You see the, the gaps in between the oven are designed for thermal expansion and contraction. A half an inch is the largest you want it to be. If you do have issues with getting all the joints to fit nice and tight, within that sixteenth to a half inch. If a single joint is a slightly larger than a half an inch, this is okay. You can pack the mortar into that joint, but you don't want to go beyond that. All right. If you pack two joints, then thermal expansion and contraction can lead to cracking. End video.